everyone, it's I Am Natural 2. I'm coming here to give you um, a hair tutorial. Well, actually, it's a contest entry for one Simply Unique Diva, Diva Hair Contest. I think it's supposed to be a curly style. So, um, what I'm actually going to do, first of all, is I'm going to mute my television. I'm watching one of the... Uh, a, a movie that I like. So I'm going to meet that. Now, I hope the lighting is good enough. And I hope you can see. I haven't. I washed my hair a couple days ago. There should be a video, of, you know, after washing and condition, deep conditioning and everything. If you want to look at that, then just check it out. It'll be somewhere. There'll be a link somewhere. Okay. That's if I can figure out how to do it. If not, it'll be in the description box below. But it might be down there as well. Okay. So, once again, this is my hair. For those of you who may not have seen that video, and you might just be tuning in to me through the contest response bid. So, I do have my earpiece on, which I'm about to take off. So, just in case, um, I'll put it back on a little later in case I need to. Um, not sure if this vid is going to be um, totally, um, there might be a voiceover, or if it's going to be totally, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, you hearing me talk throughout the whole thing. If I get a phone call that I have to take, obviously it's going to be a voiceover video, but I'll just start out telling you what I'm doing. Okay, so first of all, I do have my spray bottle. There's nothing in here but water. That's just in case my hair dries out for a certain section. Um, oh, backwards. The hairstyle that I'm recreating, um, I'll show a picture of it, or a couple pictures. Okay, so it was the, um, my 15 year high school class reunion back in August. It was actually the last Saturday in August. Um, and that's just the hairstyle that I just kind of came up with. I just was sitting there and I looked at myself and I was like, what can I do that's not too much but just enough but to show off my curls but not all of them because I really didn't want to wear my hair completely down. So I decided on that. Okay, I showed you the water bottle. I have my leave-in conditioner, my version of the Kimmy Tube um, recipe. My... Elastic QP Mango Butter Moisturizer. I have my olive oil, extra virgin. I have my Eco Styler Gel with olive oil. That's what I used on that day. However, I may be using something else that I've grown to like. Um, I won't completely say love, but I'll say like for now. And it's the Creamy Set. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not looking cross eyed you guys. My mirror is right behind the camera. But it's the black and sassy creamy set. And um, you can see, you can probably see, I've used quite a bit. But it's um, it's not sticky or anything. But it, it's cream. It's creamy set in motion pretty much. I learned, oh it smells good. Learned about this because I started using, they also have a leave-in conditioner. Which sometimes, which I actually use in my leave-in with the Kimmy too. Thing, um, and it's purple. And it smells good. It's called Caribbean Cream. And I actually started using the Black and Sassy line because I started using this, the Style Smoothers, because of Muffins is My Lovers, who does a lot of um, wig tutorials and makeup, and she's awesome. So if you guys are not subscribed to her, do so. I'll put her link, a link to one of her videos down here, or a link to her channel. Um, and I have Aloe Vera Gel as well that I'll probably end up using in this video thanks to Kim Tube. Um, I, I use a lot of stuff from people that I watch frequently if they suggest it and I see how it does well on their hair and I think it might do well on mine. I try it. And usually I only have to try it once and it does exactly what it did to their hair or what they said it'll do or it might do something a little different but I like it because it's something new for me. Um, okay so let's get started again. So my hair is kind of damp. I, um, I had it damp that day because I was at my mom's. Now, if I would have been home, I probably would have done it on 
freshly washed hair. I mean, my hair got washed the day before, but long story short, let's get started. So what I'm going to do, my hair is detangled. And what I am going to do, usually I just finger part my hair. But... Lately, my finger part hadn't been my finger part hadn't been up to par the way I like it. Now the front of my hair is kind of already dry, but because I didn't want it soaking wet until I decided to sit down and start this tutorial. Okay, so still don't have it soaking wet. What I did was I had a vision. The front just kind of fell together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to part off this small section right here. Just like that. Okay. This bantu knot has nothing to do with the style. This is just to move it out of my way. Small pin. And okay. So now then I came back here and I put it off another section. At the back of my ear. Okay, the bulk of this is going to be three big two-strand flat twists in the back going up at an angle because this part of my hair, as you can see in the picture, was kind of like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, pause it for a second, set my hair up because I don't know how much time I have on my memory card. I probably am going to have to speed this video up. But hold on.